Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In the last video, I showed you a demo of the website that we're going to build in this series. In this video, I'll just set everything up and I'll show you the code editor that I'm going to be using. We'll also select the fonts and the colors for our website. And then I'll also show you how to get the images out of Figma as PNG or SVG. So let's get started. <laughs> So first of all, the code editor that I'm going to be using in this series is called VS Code, which is Visual Studio Code. It is free to download and you can download it from code.visualstudio.com. It has a lot of awesome features and a lot of extensions which you can use. So just go ahead and click on this download button and install it just like all the other applications. I have created this folder called one page website and if you have VS Code installed, you can just right click over here and then click on open with code and your project will be opened in VS Code or you can even click on file and go to open folder and you can open the project from there. I will create the three necessary files that we want for our website. The index.html file, the style.css file and a javascript file. You can create a new file by just clicking on this button called new file and we'll just name the file index.html and I'll just create style.css file and also a main.js file. Let's go to the index.html file. Emmet is a tool which can be used to write HTML quickly. So it has a lot of snippets in that. And VS Code has Emmet already installed. So we can just type exclamation and then press tab and you'll get this HTML5 boilerplate code. I also have a separate video on Emmet on how to use the shortcuts of Emmet. You can watch that. I'll leave the link in the description below. Right, so let's go ahead and link our style.css file. So we'll just type link and then press tab. And in the href, we'll just type style.css. And we'll also link our JavaScript file. So let's go inside the body and uh, here we'll type script colon src and press tab. And in here, we can just type main.js. So we have created the HTML file and we have linked our style.css and the main.js files. Now let's go back to the browser and uh, let's open fonts.google.com and we'll select the fonts that we are going to be using in our website. So the fonts that we're going to be using in our website are Montserrat and Roboto. So let's just type Montserrat and uh, we we'll just select this font. And we'll just be using the extra bold style of this font. So let's scroll down and uh, this is the extra bold. So let's select this style. And the other font we're going to be using is Roboto. So let's go back and uh, type Roboto. And uh, we'll be using two styles for Roboto. So let's select that. And uh, we'll select the regular style and also the bold style. So these are the fonts we are going to be using Montserrat Extra Bold and Roboto Regular 400 and Bold 700. Now to embed these fonts into our website, you have to go to embed and here you have two options of adding the font to your website. You can just add a link in your HTML head tag or you can even import the font inside your style.css file. Both of these methods are fine. So I'll just select link and uh, copy this link from here. And we'll just go to index.html and we'll paste this line of code right here. So here we can see Montserrat and Roboto fonts are selected. Now for the colors in our website, I have used this website called coolers.co. You can just click on start the generator and then press space on your keyboard and uh, different colors will be selected. You can lock any of these colors and then press space and the other colors will be changed. So in this way, I found a color scheme and uh, that we're going to be using in our website. You can even go ahead and click on explore. And here are some of the trending colors that are being used in different websites. You can take a look at this as well. These are the four colors that we're going to be using in our website. So let's add these to our CSS file. So let's select the first one and uh, let's copy this code from here and we'll open the style.css file 
and we'll use CSS variables to add the colors. So I'll just add a comment. And uh, for this, we'll just target the root element. So we'll just type colon root. Now the variables that we're going to create can be accessed by all the other elements. To create a CSS variable, you have to type hyphen hyphen and the name of the variable. So we'll just type dark hyphen color and we can add the color right here. So I'll just select the dark one and copy this code from here and paste it right here. And in the same way, we'll just do with the light color and uh, we'll select this color and uh, copy this code and paste it right here. And now the red color. So we'll select this color and copy this code and paste it over here. And then the cyan color and select this color, copy this code and paste it over here. Now we'll add two more colors over here for the hover effects. So red hover color and it'll be B E 0732 and then cyan hover color and it would be 6 A F 3 E 1 and that's it with the colors. Now the last thing I'll show you in this video is how to create PNG and SVG files from Figma. So let's open our design. One thing you should always keep in your mind is that whenever you have a chance of exporting as an SVG, you should always do that. So let me just give you an example. I'll just select this uh, shape from here and uh, then we'll go down to export and uh, just click on preview and you can preview the file that we're going to be exporting. Now here you have to select SVG instead of PNG or JPG because this is a shape file and then click on export polygon and this is our project folder. Let's go ahead and create a new folder called images and you can just name the file whatever you want. So I'll just name it polygon and then click on save and now if you go to the folder we can see that inside images we have the polygon. So in this way just select all these images and go to export and uh, select SVG or PNG and then click on export and give the names. Now for files like this uh, where we have the logos of uh, different companies, you may not be able to save it as SVG so just save them as PNG. These images right here so these can be saved only as PNG. And just do this with all the other images in our Figma file and uh, then we can continue with our design. I'll leave the link of the Figma file in the description below so that you can just try and export all the images. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.